Hello and welcome to another quick update about Polygon Medic. Yeah, without much surprise, Polygon is dropping further or Medic is dropping further here into the direction of the target area that we defined many months ago. That seemed very unrealistic, but it's getting more and more realistic. The target here for um, Matic is sitting between the 88.7% um, Fibonacci retracement level and the 78.6% level of that overall move here. And it's located between, as I said, 30 and 60 cents. Um, it broke out of the descending wedge we had on the chart. It broke out of the ascend, no, the descending triangle. It broke out of the ascending wedge. It dropped below the 130 level, which was a key level of support. And um, I told you when we drop below that, we can probably expect here a move to the $1 level, maybe slightly above that, $1 and two, $1 and three. And we are already back at 118. Last video, we had just broken it and we're now dropping further as expected. And there will be here a little bit of an area of support just now where we are probably as we had here a swing low back in October and also a swing high uh, in September. So the current area here will be an area of support and resistance, but we're nearly already, we've nearly gone through already. So not sure how much more support there might be actually. Um, and yeah, my expectation would be that we are actually going to see that $1 level, $1 and three. Here, the price has one last chance or the bulls have one last chance to move the price around. But if it loses that, and then we could, you know, we could get away with a slightly modified Elliott wave count in which we could still from here move higher. But again, we would need to wait for that. We would then need to wait for an, um, a breakout pattern or a, a five wave impulsive structure to the upside. And after that, we could then um, formulate um, that Yeah, the downtrend is probably over. But until that happens, we still have to expect further downside potential here. We are still in a downtrend, as you can see. And as long as you still are in a downtrend, you have to assume the downtrend is going to continue at no stage here. The downtrend was broken. Yeah, we've made lower highs, lower lows continuously. We never, for example, broke here that $2.09 level to the upside. Um, and also the last swing lows weren't broken. And we are now also here, we had a uh, head and shoulders on the chart as well. So we had a lot of bearishness here in the chart anyway. And um, we are getting there. And if you lose the $1.03 level, then you are going to see that 62 30 cent level. I have mentioned in a few videos now that I'm getting a bit concerned about certain altcoins. Now, Medic is not one of them. Medic has been holding so well throughout um, and at the moment it's looking good. At the moment, I'm not worried because it still has a lot of scope for further price drops. Should Bitcoin really get into the area in which I expect it will go to? And if you don't know which area that is, check out my Bitcoin video. But here, Medic still has 45% to get to the first support of the box and nearly another 75% to get to the lower area. And I would only get worried if we really get close to the lower area of the support box and if I think that Bitcoin still has a lot to do on the downside. So there is much more scope, but we can't get around the fact that at the moment, while Bitcoin is actually holding okay, yeah, around the 38K mark, um, also compared to what many stocks and shares are doing, mm, the altcoins are currently struggling and the altcoins are currently at a level that we were, uh, I think, like end of Feb February, where Bitcoin actually had a lower price, um, I think. Um, but yeah, the altcoins, what I want to say is the altcoins in the last few weeks have lost out compared to Bitcoin. Yeah, And that is a bit um, concerning, while Bitcoin actually wasn't doing too badly. Um, however, here on the daily, yes, so daily MACD downside further acceleration. Yeah, there was a potential here for a bullish crossover on the MACD. Now that was prevented. Um, also nothing that we expected to play out here because there was just too much bearishness in the chart and didn't really align fully with my Elliott wave count here. Now on the daily, we're getting oversold. So at some point here, we are going to see a, a counter reaction. If the price can drop to a dollar, without a little bit of a move up. I don't think so. I think it would then be massively oversold. So I think between now and the dollar, there will be a corrective move up again for Polygon Medic. 
um, but you can see how the downtrend here the white line indicates the strength of the trend and the red means if red is above green it means we are in a downtrend you can see how the downtrend is actually increasing down uh, increasing yeah the trend is increasing to the downside on the daily and again that is nothing um, nothing bullish so yeah you can see that these target areas here step by step they played out even though medic is still one of the cryptos that is furthest away from its target area but yeah it's just what it is here on the four day chart as well bullish crossover here on the 30th of march prevented there was one four day there was one four day um bar where we had a green bar but that's it the weekly as well the weekly hasn't even recovered here you know since since january we've got a bearish crossover here or we are in the bearish range on the macd on the weekly so yeah there is um no sign of recovery here at the moment so what i have to do my conclusion is we are going down further primary expectation continues to be we get into this target area there is one last chance for the bulls to hold the one dollar level or let's say one dollar and two i think it is one dollar and three but if they don't do it then we are going to see this 60 cent all right and that is my view about medic polygon medic hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content check out the channel membership thanks so much for watching bye bye